you want to know how to deal with a, um, what um, the social media call a troll or negative comments, stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? As um, stated in the intro, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to deal with negative comments here on YouTube, on any, pla any social media platform. And also, we're going to talk about um, how to deal with toxic people that are in your lives. So, first, let's talk about these negative comments. So, I'll insert a um, negative, what I feel like is a negative comment um, in this video from a young lady, young man, I, don't, I can't tell by their name what um, sex they are. But anyway, so on this particular video, it was when I got my new glasses. And I was asking you all, did y'all like the older glasses or the newer glasses? Because, you know, I value you all's opinion. You know, my lawyer supporters anyway and I just like to um get your input so that's what I was asking about I didn't ask anything about any makeup so the person to put on the um comment section that I was ugly with my makeup on so me being me as strong as I am now I hadn't always been this strong and I'm only strong because God is in my heart that's the only why I'm strong I'm not so strong it's nothing that I've done it's him holding me up because I have to let my light shine in all situations. So he holds me up. The um, the Holy Spirit holds me up. But you know, Miss V, he's still working on Miss V. Remember that working I N G means it's a process. So by him still working on me, I still have to show love even to the trolls. Okay, because sometimes that's what people are searching for. So I learned that hurt people try to hurt people. And I know that's a saying that people say, but I, that's a true statement because when I was hurting, I used to say things to hurt people. That's why I understand. So, you'll see in the comments section, I, you know, I had to erase a couple of things, you know, because I had to realize God was working on me. I had to erase a couple I know the whole spirit said, no, you can't say that. No, you can't say that. I was like, okay, well, God, what would you like me to say to this young lady or young man to let them know, um, that I understand what they're saying and that, of course, they didn't hurt my feelings because I know who I am as an individual. But um, you tell me what to say. So you'll see my um, reply in the comment. So after long, after <laughs> I debated or whatever with this person, and you'll see that the person, if you, if you, can, uh, if you can read, if you can understand comments, comments will tell you a lot about a person. This comment told me that this is an individual that it's not happy with themselves. Because for you to tell me that I'm ugly, that the makeup is ugly on me, what was your purpose? Like, okay, when you said that, did that make you feel good by saying that? It, you have to get something out of saying something ugly to somebody. I'm telling you. Because when I used to say something ugly to somebody, it made me feel good to see that they were saying it. That's how I know. I'm telling you. And so, that's why I asked the person in the comment, so you're saying, okay, you're saying I'm ugly with the makeup on. So you saying you don't like my makeup, which I did not ask you if you like my makeup. Is it relevant if you like my makeup? I asked you. That that further tells you that the person really doesn't watch, wasn't watching my video also. And of course, this was somebody who has never come in on my channel. And my thing is, when the first time you come in on somebody's channel, um, why does it have to be a negative come in? So if somebody that's loyal to me would have said the same thing, of course, if they were loyal to me, they would have said it in a different way. I would have took it as correct constructive criticism but being that this is someone who I've never seen on my channel just give me a negative comment I'm gonna consider you a troll okay so you will see in the uh, text what I said so that's what I'm saying when I like the pastor my pastor said be careful when you tell God he can use you because you're gonna have to go through some things so this is part of the process so I couldn't say what I really want to say because you know Miss V would have just you know, let them have it. So what was the purpose of me just letting them have it? But now that I'm happy that I've allowed God to come into my heart, it doesn't bring me joy to just let them have it anymore. That's not me anymore. Now, let's stop. Let me let you know now, just because God has used me now, you can't just say what you want to say, anything, you know, and get away with it. You know, I'm still going to get you, but I'm going to get you in a more, um, godly way but i'm still gonna get you i'm just saying ask my co-worker they already know <laughs> that's just my personality that's just part of him working on me do i get you and when i do get you it's gonna be in a godly way to where you're not even gonna be offended 
You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so that's what that's how I deal with negative comments. First of all, I read the comment in a godly way and be like, okay, this person, okay, what was the person you telling me? You know, she said the comment said, you dog, I need to have a whole comment. Your makeup is I don't know what it said, but anyway, so me being the person I am, I made a joke out of it. So I said, so they said I was ugly with the makeup on, so that tells me they don't like my makeup. So what I'm, so my response was, so I'm pretty without the makeup. Laugh out loud, you know. Then the person came back and said, "Did I hurt your feelings?" So by them asking me, "Did I hurt your feelings?" That tells me that was their intent. Because if you said what you said and you really meant it out of the goodness of my heart, why you worry about if you hurt my feelings or not? You not already said the words. That's just like with anything in life. And then after I told them what I was, had to tell them, that I know my worth and that people that are not um, valuable to me, I do not value their opinion. In the end, they come back and say, you pretty with or without the makeup. So what they tell you? They were searching, baby. They were searching. Because first you say I was ugly. Now you say I'm pretty with or without the makeup. I'm confused. So anyway, that's what I want to come on here and tell you all. Creators, that's if you are where I am spiritually now. If you still, you know, wherever you are in life, that's where you are. I'm not judging you or anything. But if you're somebody like me who's trying to better their life and is allowing God to use you, read the entire comment before you get offended. I really didn't get offended because... I can read through the comment. The person is unhappy. Because what difference do it make if I am ugly with the makeup? I mean, what? why is that necessary for you to tell me that? It's what I'm saying. Even if I am ugly with the makeup, like all the videos I'm watching, it's something I don't like about the video. I'm not going to um, come in and tell them whatever it is that I don't like. That's ugly. Because that's not, because God is has taken up all that space that I used to have where I used to be angry. He has taken up all that space. And so, therefore, I'm not going to try to um, inflict harm on somebody else. That's crazy. Like, if I'm watching your video and I don't like the hat you got on, why comment that I don't like your hat? Now, if you ask me, what you think about this hat? Then I'll say, whatever I think about the hat. You know what I'm saying? So, that just tell me that that's an un happy person. Okay, I'm through with that. Let's fast forward. Let's talk about these toxic people. Everybody has them. Whether you want to admit it or not. Whether it's family member, co-workers, uh, next door neighbors. Who else? Let's talk about toxic people. Okay, I'm going to put the definition of a toxic person. A toxic person is anyone who produces drama. If you don't know what drama is, drama is anything negative. Anybody that creates an uneasy feeling when you're around them. So, toxic people. First of all, it don't matter now who the toxic person is. It can be your mother, your grandma. It don't. That's irrelevant. Who, what relationship they are to you? When we talking about peace of mind and uh, de decreasing your stress level. So let's go and get that out the way. Okay. So when we talk about pop toxic people, first of all, the first thing I need for you to do is decide. What type of life you want to live. Or decide if you want to be stress free. Okay. Once you decide. Okay. Like I've decided. I'm going to keep my peace of mind. God gave my peace of mind. So I'm not going to let an individual here on earth take it from me. When it gets to the point where it's uh, my peace of mind is being challenged. You're going to have to go. Children, grandchildren, mother, father. I'm just saying. You're going to have to go. When I say go, I'm not saying I'm going to cut you out of my life forever. Whatever you're doing, going to have to go. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you're doing that's causing me drama gonna have to go. Say for instance, uh, one of my daughters come over here and every time they come over here, they smoking cigarettes. And I don't like cigarettes. So, and I and you know that I don't like cigarettes and I've told you I don't like cigarettes, but you still want to light a cigarette. So what I would do in that instance, I'm gonna pull that daughter or son, whoever, over to the side and tell them I've asked you not to smoke cigarette. I do not like cigarette. It bothers my allergies, such and such, whatever. It, it makes my house smell. And if you do it again, we're gonna have a problem. Or either, you know, I'm just not gonna um invite you to my house anymore. Just whatever it is, whatever the situation is. And so to me, when you pull a person over to the side and tell them what they're doing wrong. That gives them a, a, a fair chance of showing you whether or not you are important in their life. Okay, so if they still come to your house and smoke cigarettes, okay, what that tells me is you don't value my opinion, so I'm going to have to do what I got to do on my end. 
So that's all I'm saying. Don't say it in front of the, the whole family. Pull that person over to the side. Everybody in the family don't have to know that you said this to that person. Or everybody in the office don't have to know that you said it to these person unless that person tells it. So to me, the first thing you do, once you decide that I want to keep my peace of mind and I'm going to be stretched free as much as possible. Of course, we know some things we don't have control over. But the things we have control over... That's the first thing we're going to do. And the second thing we're going to do is that person that's causing you problems, you pull them over to the side, do it in a respectful way, and be serious with them and just let them know you're serious. Okay, then after that, if they don't, you know, honor your wishes, then you do what you got to do. You know, whether it not come to their house anymore, not answer their phone calls, whatever. Whatever you got to do, that don't mean you love them any less. That just means right now my peace of mind is more important than our relationship because of the way you help turn the relationship. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying as far as toxic people. And then you're going to, first of all, depending on what relationship you have with the person, we're just going to keep it real. You're going to have to ask God to help you because, you know, you're probably going to be tempted to still talk to them because you used to talking to them, uh, you know, because there's no point in talking to them until they piss you off or make you mad. No, you got to send them a message that um, I don't like what you did and I'm not going to be around. It. You have to be firm. And allow God to work with the situation. Once you're firm, then God will come in and fix the situation. But as long as you still tiptoeing back over there, fussing about it to the other family member, fussing about it to the other co-worker, God going to be like, I ain't going to mess with it because I told him to be still. Be still and know that I am God. So once you be still and know that he's God, put your foot down, tell him what you don't like about it, and get some rest down. I mean, I ain't saying when you go in the family, go to the family gathering, go in the office or whatever. Good morning. Hey, everybody. How you doing? I'm still speaking to that person, too. I'm still speaking to that family member. But what I'm saying is, you already know what I said to you over to the side. What I'm saying. Like if somebody got a problem with me and they tell me, well, Veronica, I don't like the way you such and such. If that person is valuable to me, then I'm going to change what I'm doing around them. That's what I'm saying. And so... By a person changing or not changing, that tells you how valuable you are to them. You know how your mama or your sister tell you, well, that's your brother. That's your sister. Okay, I'm their brother and I'm their sister when they did whatever they did to me. Okay, why I always got to be the bigger one? Why they can't be the bigger one? Why they can't just work on what they need to work on? You work on what you need to work on. I'm going to work on myself and God going to work on us all. How about that? Can we do that? Everybody work on themselves. So that's what I'm doing for toxic people. Me and my husband they have decided on my side of the family, his side of the family, or whoever's side of the family. If it's something going on that we don't like, we, we don't have to be involved in. Not that we think we ain't better than anybody else, but we try to better our lives. And when you better your lives, there's certain things that you're not going to be around. Like me, for instance, I don't like to be around people that change when they drink alcohol. Y'all can, y'all can miss me with that crazy foolishness talking about that's the alcohol talking. That's a lie. That's you talking. You just using that alcohol that some of you already want to say. So you miss Miss V with that. No. Because no. Because you remember everything you said. You know what you were saying. Ain't no alcohol. Now the alcohol gave you the courage to say it. But you, that ain't no alcohol talking like they always say. To me, if your whole personality change, you don't need to drink. That's what I'm saying. If your whole personality changed in a negative way, you might not need to drink no alcohol. So anybody that I know on my side of the family, on my husband's side of the family, if I know they drink and they change, what I do now, if it's a function I know they're going to be at, me and V going to be at work. That's how I do that. I mean, I ain't stopping nobody else from having fun. I'm just not going to be a part of it. Because you ain't finna um, say what you want to say to me while you drunk. <laughs> and then the next day, hey, girl, how you doing? Oh, no, you ain't finna do that because, see, I don't do fakeness. I don't do fakeness. Be who you are, whether you drinking or not. See, I don't do fake stuff. Uh, yes, I do. I do fake hair. <laughs> Woo! I'm just saying. But anyway, that's what I want to come on here and tell y'all. I'm sorry with the hand gesture because, you know, I got an attitude today. Cause I'm just saying. It's time. I'm almost 50 years old. Somebody my age, I still be, I, I, some of this stuff I shouldn't even be, still be dealing with. I expect to be dealing with that kind of stuff with my 20-year-old grandson or something. You know, but evidently time does not bring about a change for some people. Some people going to die of food. Foolish. I'm going to say foolish because the Bible said I'm calling about a food. Some people going to die foolish, so I had to realize that. So what I have to do, I'm going to take myself out of the situation. I'm going to keep my peace of mind. You know how long it took me to get my peace of mind? You think I'm going to let a human being here on earth take it? Oh, no. 
No, ma'am. No, sir. So, anyway, so let's recap. Negative comments. I'm still going to show you love and encourage you. And then I'm going to block you. Um, toxic people. I'm going to decide that my peace of mind and my stress level is more important than having a relationship with you. Then I'm going to pull you over to the side. Then I'm just not going to engage with you. That's what we're going to do with toxic people. That's it. That's all I can do. And I'm going to stop talking about it to other people in the family, other people in the office. And let God work on it. And when God work on it, and when you, when God changes, you're going to be changed. You ain't going to be no, oh, man, I understand what you're saying. I didn't change um, in a week. Nah. It's gonna take a it's gonna take a minute for most people to change. So anyway, that's what Miss V is doing over here on her channel. I hope something I said was um helpful to you. That was the purpose of it. It wasn't the purpose of it. it was not for me to get on here with all these hand gestures like I'm doing sign language. No, the purpose of me was was to encourage some of you all. Cause uh I'm gonna tell you, if you got a YouTube channel, baby, you're gonna get a um, negative comment. I don't care what your channel is about, how pretty your makeup is, how pretty and straight your teeth are. Somebody out there is unhappy. I'm telling you. They out there are unhappy and they clicking on your video just to leave you a bad comment and hoping that it mess your day up. That's their intent. Then the person going to say, did I hurt your feelings? I'm saying to myself, did I hurt your feelings? Oh, that means that's what, that was your intention. Uh, like I'm going to tell you, yeah. I mean, you know you ain't hurt my feelings. You, evidently, you, you, you can't be... A loyal member because you would know that Miss V is stronger than that, baby. About some done makeup. I wear makeup because I like to make wear makeup. I don't wear makeup because I need makeup. And if I did wear makeup because I need makeup, once I put the makeup on and I like what I see, then everything else is irre irrelevant. That's why it's called self-esteem. Self. Self. How you feel about yourself. When you know God and you allow him in your heart, you're going to feel good about yourself no matter what. Maybelline and um, Fenty and all these other folks say. And Color Girl. You know what I'm saying? You better y'all better be building y'all self up because you waiting on somebody else to be your baby. You're gonna stay on the ground. You just gonna roll from side to side on the ground, baby. You waiting on another person, another individual here on earth to build you up. Oh baby, you gonna stay down there on the ground. So anyway, that's it. I'm finished. So this Miss V, I'm going to continue to show you love and encourage you. Then I'm going to block you. <laughs> Have a good day.